hello welcome to my channel sagittarius sun moon rising venus and cross watcher this is going to be a reading for you guys please drop a like share and come and join the membership if you like all right for extra perks and stuff i appreciate you guys continuing support at the membership we got the six of one and the queen of ones you guys may get a glow up or more followers like shares and comments to subscribe i hit that notification button to be notified if you like to book a personal reading with me sagittarius sun moon rising venus and cross watcher you can book at simplybookme.com or nisha miss wild hi thank you guys all right thank you guys thank you for being being a friend there could be a, a cancer that's in love with y'all all right so a leo could be putting y'all on a pedestal or there's something about uh your um the way people view you okay with the six of ones and the queen of ones you're very confident looking good the nine of swords with the sun card came in so be on your p's and q's because i feel like you're gonna have to uh react or act quick so you can get something that you want here as well all right let's see here it could be recognition on a job could be recognition reward and everything coming through so if you feel like money has been taken some type of stop or hope that's going to change because i got hope investment easy does it destiny and prudence okay with your spending all right so i thought like, that's cool so you guys may get on top of that okay budgeting is what i'm hearing okay um if you've been budgeting you're going to see an increase in your plans as well so who's coming towards you sagittarius Welcome, y'all. How y'all doing? We got here the Nine of Cups, Pisces, Water Sign, or there's a love offer coming in. Uh, apology, okay, falling in love. We got the Sun card, Leo energy as well. All right, and then we got the Star and the Six of Cups. So it could be somebody from your past. So you got Aquarius and you got Leo very strongly, Pisces and Scorpio, okay? Beneficial, some act of kindness, or somebody's going to see do something to put a smile on your face and see you glow and stuff. Uh -huh. Y'all could be dealing with a star, okay, or you could be coming a star. We got the Moon card, unexpected the secrets coming out about a pisces or gemini somebody's secretly trying to trap you guys okay into a homey situation or you may be locked in okay sometimes that could be called grandfathered in but with the eight of swords as your advice you're not as trapped as you think you are to something you can walk away unexpected is the ace of one so there's a pisces revealing that they like you or they love you or you know something's very sexual or a cancer okay there could be a secret new beginning happening with this person okay we got here the seven of cups and stuff and no i don't slow down i just speak quick sometimes <laughs> we have options okay so y'all could be like feeling like oh my god where am i going to go what am i going to do when it comes to money and finances as well for source rest okay recuperate take it easy maybe you even need to take a vacation for some of y'all with four ones and a four of source so if you was taking a break from an aries or a leo they may want to come back now there is a aquarius or there is somebody here that is sneaking around the camp trying to take something from y'all why does that aquarius coming up as a sneaky person okay a sneaky link or they are the very deceptive they came up in a scorpio reading seven of, seven of swords and the uh queen of swords okay people are talking trash about this person okay or this person was talking trash about y'all you may discover that this air sign been running a mouth about y'all secretly and stuff how this person feel about y'all that you got to be thinking about all right how this person thinking okay right now so there's some drama in paradise okay lies and rumors and stuff two of cups this person in love with y'all somebody loves you and stuff okay somebody loves you baby i right, saw so, uh, cancer leo <laughs> three of swords it could be your ex <laughs> and we got the seven of pentacle taurus okay all right so somebody's in love with y'all but they think all you think about is the heartbreak how they broke your heart how you broke their heart and all the money and time they invested in this relationship okay i do think somebody still care but they still like either re reminiscing on how you betrayed them lied to them and vice versa they could have did this to y'all and the seven of pentacles their money investment they put in for this relationship all right we got here the four swords they may not say nothing libra energy they're just sitting with the truth maybe they wait for y'all to express how y'all feel and we got here the sun card all right so they happy and we got here the queen of swords to have a conversation with y'all to talk about it to find a resolution to make this right okay i feel like if you're talking to a libra they want to make it right i don't know about the aquarius and stuff they may want to stick it to you and i think if they are trying to stick it to you they trying to take you financially and stuff but we're gonna see we're gonna keep going because this person is like listening we got the devil <laughs> yeah if y'all dealing with the aquarius they like fuck you if you deal with a capricorn they're saying the same thing okay <laughs> if y'all don't really leave, it look like they want to say something. They want to work it out with the sun card. All right, let's see the outcome. 
we got here the five of pentacles so some yeah suffering okay so somebody looking at like two or three hundred dollars that was taken all right we got here seven of cups and we got here the five of one so dispute so i feel like y'all gonna have to like hash it out y'all will be hashing it out with somebody about finances job opportunity missed opportunity opportunities that was stolen taken all right, somebody feel like they listen to bad advice and stuff, and they lost all a little, not a lot of money, seven of the pentacles to the five of pentacles, but they do feel like they lost and stuff as well, okay? We'll have no success at winning, gaining, or earning anything. So this person could be dealing with, like, a lot of loss and stuff, uh, having a hard time to recoup or stuff. This person could be also doing that to y'all. Like, every opportunity, they find a way to sabotage it as well. We got temperatures. There you go, Sagittarius. Okay, keep it easy, breezy. Okay, beautiful. All right, so y'all, like, being encouraged that whatever is that may be going on in your life that could be, like, chaotic or drama, okay, because it's definitely there to be easy here, okay? So rec reconciliation. Also, if you offended somebody, they still love you. They still care about you. They still want to talk to you. We got here the king of swords, okay? I feel like, too, a decision comes in that puts your mind at ease, okay? It could be a family member, Libra, or Pisces, or something about family, okay? You talk to them, you see they okay, you smiling, you happy, everything's all right, okay? And we got the title, Untold, the tower, ooh, <laughs> and then we had the three of Pentecost. All right, so I feel like there's rumor, okay? Somebody's trying to ruin somebody's reputation, but I feel like it backfires, somebody blows up, okay? Um, there's like some type of social media blow up here as well. Tower to the three of pentacles. Yeah, somebody's like trying to bring some stuff down, but now somebody walks away because they realize that either it's not affecting you or you unfazed by something. Uh, Tower of Scorpio craze energy. So somebody been like writing a book or secretly on y'all. And we got Saturn in the truth, okay? And we got Jupiter benefits, okay? Jupiter return. So I feel like there's a either something significant that you either uh saturn cycle you pass you don't have to repeat it no more you learned the lesson so now you get the benefits somebody's trying to stop you from getting saturn benefits saturn benefits with you guys what travel higher education having a husband and a spouse jupiter rules our spouse and stuff so you know you already learned the lesson but somebody yeah the eight of swords trying to keep you guys stuck in a, a trap man okay going around and repeating a cycle that's already been finished okay we got scorpio i transform 11 house friends okay so you may be changing up your friend or is it a good time to like what they call it take inventory or who around you um wishing for your success or wishing for your downfall all right you can always tell like this person is passive aggressive and stuff oh yeah <laughs> i analyze virgo and second house of oni so this person could like talk a lot about your money your resources how you spend things and what you're doing maybe you're good at making money but not keeping money and managing money something like that okay but the second house in virgo i analyzed they want you guys to analyze your bank account or they want y'all to analyze this Taurus, or they want y'all to question this Taurus or this virgo in your life all right so something about money and resources and stuff could be up maybe somebody is like really good with their money and they wish you could be the same way but you're not i don't know something like that or vice versa we got Jupiter abundance, okay? So somebody could just be mad because you're naturally lucky, okay? Jupiter is your ruling planet. There is some type of luck and benefit coming towards you guys as well. We have both Jupiter benefits return. So some of you guys, Jupiter is returning to home for you guys. And um, Saturn, okay, cycle is like ending, and that's why y'all deserve. This is very spiritual too with the seven. All right, and seven is all about warnings and stuff as well. Let's see what else is going on. All right, so let's see, seven days possibly. All right, so third house of messages. You're going to get a message here. All right, something that you, also y'all going to decode a message and stuff. Or you guys are going to find um, how to manifest abundance by writing. All right, Gemini energy, creating, blogging, okay, telling stories, writing books, okay, selling information, news, and all of that good stuff, okay? There's a secret to decoding something. You could be a coder. You could be a builder. You could build an app, okay? Something is going to make you a lot of money, okay? You may get this down low in um, seven days. We got 77 and two. There could be a partner that's going to help y'all with this, too, with the two coming up, 27. All right, let's see here. Um, the 29th of this month is very uh, auspicious uh the day before the 12th is auspicious the 12th rule you guys sign so naturally if you do things on the 12th of the month it rules sagittarius energy uh, the luckiest month this um the sun is in conjunct with jupiter 
is on April 11th. So if you initiate something or you want to announce something good, you got up until the 15th, okay, to start signing paperwork, documents, and getting what you want out there because uh, Mercury go retrograde on the 21st. So remember that. <laughs> I didn't put all of that in Scorpio reading, but I feel like, yeah, y'all need to know this because I feel like something is very auspicious and very blessed, okay? Moon, the soul, okay? <laughs> you can do it, put your back into it. So I feel like whatever this is, very soulful or somebody's pouring a soul into something, a message that they're about to send you. All right, this could be poetry. This could be artwork and music and stuff. All right, so shit, um, top 10, okay? Or somebody could be on a triple hit list. <laughs> what, what is this, okay? I always think about jay Z song. I can't see him coming down down my eyes so i gotta make the sun cry all right so that that type of song okay don't you ever leave me lonely yeah grand trying and blessing okay so we did have a lot of leo cancer energy coming through the will and some of you guys are grand trying being at the right place at the right time all right i rock okay diamonds are forever all right, so this moon card is about your gut intuition, trusting yourself. I feel like, yeah, something secret, like, you know, only you getting this message, okay? Or only you can see the message behind something. Pisces, I believe, okay? <laughs> it's my turn. Yeah, they say it. If you don't believe it, it will never happen to you, okay? So I feel like, yeah, some of your wildest dreams is coming true, too, right now. There could be a Pisces that believes in you, too. We got here, easy does it, okay? So if somebody's trying to slow you down, slow and steady, all right, where's the race? We got here, this is not a good time to rush, pay attention to every detail. Right now, the moon is in Virgo and stuff, um, today and tomorrow. Careful not to get involved in any get-rich-quick schemes, okay? That's what it's saying. All right, so yeah, make sure you got a well-laid-out plan and make sure you got, like, the proper paperwork and stuff. Make sure you don't get bamboozled by a Pisces and stuff as well or another Sagittarius. Uh, cancer or Gemini. Let's see. It could be something on social media. All right. Recognition. Okay. Yeah. Y'all got recognition coming though. Um, for whatever y'all doing different, different parts of your life, different people, different avenues, different life areas. But a lot of you, this is either somebody going to recognize you for the talent. Okay. That you are and what you do really well here. Definitely see that with the Tower and the Three of Pentacles. There could be an unexpected collaboration coming through for you guys. Your money is looking good or solid. Whatever you are working on now will win you respect of others. You could earn a leadership position or get recognition you deserve. Dang. Pada, how you like me now? I'm pretty, baby. <laughs> All right, we got here leadership. Okay, yeah, so... I mean, if you retired, then this respect from your family or your loved one, okay? So don't be like, well, I'm not getting leadership reward because I don't work. But then this is not, this is from family and friends, okay? Uh, mother, father, somebody that you respect, like, yeah, you know what? I'm proud of you. But we got here, it's time to step into the leadership role in your life. You didn't expect to succeed in any leadership position. Your finance will greatly improve once you accept and step into your power, okay? So you could be a head of a committee and stuff, okay? We got here, say yes to the things you cannot do. So when it comes up, don't be like, uh, don't be modest and stuff. Take that shit. <laughs> Take the bull by the horns and stuff. And say, say yes to what you believe you can't do. So I feel like there's something you can do and people or a person is recognizing this. It could be a Scorpio. All right. Because it says it's time to release the negativity. Full moon and Scorpio, which is, uh. Pretty much stop um, saying no to like handling people money. I'm here money management, okay? Uh, hedge funds and stuff, big corporation, lots of cash. All right, you may be like dealing with a lot of people money. A lot of money may run through your hands and stuff here. Let's see what else is going on here. We got here time to breathe out dismantling moon, okay? So letting things go, releasing things, okay? Woosa, <laughs> that's what that means. All right, so y'all releasing, okay, things that don't serve you. Which is good, okay? Jobs, too. Sometimes everything comes to an end. We got here, yeah, the Scorpio new moon, the full moon came out again. So somebody that been holding a long, hold, a long grudge, you know how people like, man, how do you get that leadership position? It should have been mines and stuff, and they hold on to something. Somebody's letting something go. All right, so look at the bigger picture, full moon and Sagittarius, okay? So seeing something um, from a uh, wider point of view and seeing something from somebody, you can probably understand why somebody's upset or talking to them or as well, or seeing what they need, okay? Adjustments are required, third moon, 
third quarter moon. So I feel like this is going to require you to change your schedule around, possibly this huge position, or to manage your schedule well because you're going to be managing a lot. All right, we got prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. Some of you guys may see this uh, right after the Aries uh, new moon eclipse, I, April 19th or in May, uh, Taurus season, okay? Yeah. So this is probably like a really huge increase in your money to your status. Um, the next 12 months could be very prosperous for you guys. Cha-ching, okay? <laughs> Second house in life, North. All right, so some of y'all got North Node and Scorpio. And some of y'all got South Node and uh, Taurus or vice versa and stuff. You have paid off a debt, okay? Or you will be able to pay off your debts. Also, I was telling in the Scorpio thing, working with the uh, King of Cups Cancer Energy is also uh, Angel uh, Rochelle that can clear up your karma and um, nullify it where you don't have to continue to repeat that cycle, Gemini Energy. Yeah, Scorpio, I transform. So something is going to be very transformative in y'all life. Let's see the T cards and stuff. Yeah, I feel like your income is transforming or the way you appreciate things, okay? So so you um you are appreciating money or you're appreciating how to get it how to save it okay how to multiply it and make it grow and i feel like people are looking at you for this okay so you're becoming a guru in your field and people you know you may land a like significant client for those who work for yourself so if you're not working at a job and you self-employed you may um, land a prestigious client that got money they could be a tourist a pisces and they're willing to invest in your ideals here too so had that blueprint ready okay <laughs> they coming. you probably already got it ready somebody like okay that's what you want to do let's go <laughs> uh it's already in there the pop-up we got so somebody popping up with y'all okay so somebody all right so that nine of swords okay somebody could be popping up okay spiritual awakening all right so you guys could be going through a spiritual awakening as well meditating and i see you guys by the sea by the water taking a cruise okay they're like rock climbing he on the edge and stuff okay so yeah trying something new meditating relaxing we are drinking the coat with the emotions so somebody here having a hard time dealing with the fact that you guys are not together or dealing with the fact that you guys are not talking about something all right we got here drugs are involved so somebody could be on drugs or having um issues um rehabilitation issues ticking time bumps I, i'm getting that though i had the nine of swords with the sun all right so we got drugs involved soulmate and uh ticking time bun so something time is of essence okay so someone gonna feel like they need to say something or do something really quick for you guys sagittarius fatal attraction lord all right move, um new relationship okay so yeah take it slow if you guys meet um meet somebody new with the fatal attraction and new relationship and we got parental issues so somebody could be dealing with like kids issue with the mother or father be careful one night stands and stuff all right and give me a break okay so somebody could be having a hard time catching a break with you guys or catching a break in life and like, like they could be asking for you guys to give them a break and help them out and stuff recovery and meditation okay maybe somebody keep failing at 12 the 12 step program and stuff they have an addiction or something like that because it says screw the numbers and stuff i feel like you need to pay attention to the numbers if you believe okay you got two cards of, uh, i believe okay so someone could be trying to discourage you guys from believing in something that you deserve something as well prosperity abundance love marriage all of that all right we got here listen to your intuition all right it's going to lead you where you need to go wait okay so take your time don't rush nothing we got here forgiveness in the situation will improve the nine of cups is somebody asking for forgiveness that's who was coming towards you guys and it says something is going to improve with time as well water sign i right, falling in love okay now it usually it could be a card of illicit relationship where somebody may already be married um going through a divorce but they like you guys okay take your time make sure they get divorced or you know follow through with their commitments we got here compromise yeah this legal too libra okay eh, so somebody it could be a libra coming into your life as well okay a relationship i compromise i get libra energy so something that's going to be able to be worked out for y'all in y'all favor huge opportunity presents itself as well um yeah page of cups yeah somebody tickling your fancy <laughs> i feel like if you tickling this uh gemini fancy or this gemini is tickling your fancy, this gemini is worried or this aquarius or libra is ready about what you already know all right so yeah take your time a lot of cards are like don't rush 
And that's what I'm saying. Because if y'all rush in, something might end up bad. Or something ends abruptly and somebody breaks their silence. All, uh, all air energy, yeah. Wait. Something is being woven together for y'all. I feel like you're under protection, but if you rush something, it can go the other way. The Ten of Swords keeps showing up, but it didn't come out. I'm telling y'all. All right, star seed, okay? <laughs> All right, so you guys are a star seed. So I feel like you recognizing your talents and your gifts and your ability, all right, to be influenced to people, affluence to people as well. <laughs> uh, welcome. How you doing? All right, so you are traveling from another planet. All right, who incarnate on the earth to inspire and heal human from being and to participate in the planet evolution, okay? I feel like you're realizing that it's time to evolve your money, okay, and your your belief system is what I'm getting with. Pisces, I believe, and Taurus, you know, uh, New Moon and Taurus, you are evolving with that, okay? Or right, helping people evolve their uh, financial literacy. That's what I be seeing when I see that. Jupiter, naturally, Moon, okay? Connecting to people, okay? Understanding, because you've been there before. Like, it's a hard knock life for us. <laughs> we got Angel and Fashionista. Now, some of y'all may get a fashion deal. Congratulations for those who are in the spotlight and you got a brand deal coming to y'all. All right. Hey, you look good over there, Sagittarius. You got Star C, Angel, and Fascinisha. Okay. So heaven sent. Um, your eyes are the the eye contact is very important, okay? <laughs> All right, people fall underneath your spell when they look at you, or somebody got you hooked. <laughs> All right, you got somebody hooked. They like, oh, show me your eyes, okay? The better to see you with. All right, so you're an angel on earth sent here to learn certain things about human condition and to guide human humans on earth. A spirit guide and training to teach and heal other you got two cards of teaching and healing but i feel like the healing is magic and the healing is money okay money magic <laughs> but the angel and star c and then we got fashionista so i feel like too something about um mm, mm, victoria's secret is it victoria's secret angel maybe you guys are going to be walking the uh stage i don't know why i'm getting victoria's secret uh because of the angel card and how it looked but i was getting like lingerie or something like that but Especially with fashionistas, some of you guys are designers or art designer. Are you designing something that's going to be put on the runway? Yeah, yeah, and it's going to bring in a lot of money, but I was trying to think of it. Oh, my God, I can't think of it. Somebody got a secret, too. I got a secret. Can you keep it? What was Victoria's secret? Uh, secret? Oh, uh, that she was actually guy, an uh, actual guy is what I'm getting here. So, yeah, so some of y'all know somebody's secret, okay? Because Victoria was a man, right? But the line is for women. <laughs> Some, something like that coming out. All right, so you know how to dress the part. Uh, insinuating your best future and making head turns your way. Becoming the center of attention anywhere you go, okay? <laughs> so if you are like a transgender uh, and you are like a, a cross-dresser, Somebody knows your secret, okay? <laughs> I was trying to figure out the proper words to say. <laughs> yeah, so fashionista. Y'all going to be doing that. I believe, too. Um, what is it? Um, Miss America? I think that fa that is ch um, changing, too. Miss America, okay? Georgia. Georgia Peach. Let's see what's going on here. And then if you are a guy... I was trying to see if it's Sports Illustrated or what's the ones where guys are um, listed as the uh, top 50 um, handsome um, guys in the world or the top 10 wealthiest or something like that. You are Sagittarius. You're being listed in something like that where people are like, damn, okay. <laughs> All right, the top 30 for 30. Let's see. Overcome, okay. So something you're overcoming, that's why you deserve it. Having gone through battle with your own dark side, you can see the divinity and scarce element in the darkness and destruction, okay? Yeah, um, being, being, able, uh, being able to uh, help people overcome their financial comings and shortings and stuff, which... Batman. I don't know why I was thinking of that. <laughs> ah, Gotham City, okay? 
Ah, uh, y'all get the joke, whatever. But which, okay? You have a strong connection to the universe that is developed through uh, study and practice. You can live an empowered life that can bring forth positive change, okay? So getting grounded, going out into nature, um, nature, nature. What the fuck in the ether, okay? <laughs> uh, is it uh, Inko? Okay, she was singing something that was really cool and stuff. Okay, I think it's Inko. I be listening to her music. I say, yes, okay. So something that y'all doing is really cool and stuff. Connection, okay. Um, you could be growing a natural garden, or you may consider to go natural or do something more natural. Get a lot of Taurus energy, Pisces energy too. Um, I was just looking at sunflowers and something like that. Ooh, I was trying to figure out putting it together because, you know, putting these two energy together, earth and water and growing something, okay? And you guys rule fire and water. You know, you are the alchemist, okay? So you are changing something here. Yeah, we got here the queen of ones and the devil. So you are changing your looks. Also, you're going to discover something really crazy about a Leo or a Capricorn, okay? Shape shifter. Um, also, transmuting negativity into positivity as well. The queen of ones and the devil, okay? So the queen of ones is all about looking good, fashionable, little highlight, but the devil. So the industry, you know, I'm getting like modeling. You know, that industry is like really corrupt and stuff, not in a bad way. But the girls starve themselves sometimes, you know, depending on what side you own looking at to make themselves look thin and beautiful so people can see them and it's un it's unhealthy so you could be an advocate for this and stuff or speaking about unhealthy things to, that women do to make themselves look beautiful okay it's killing you okay but you know they say beauty is pain and so you could be trying to change that um narrative <laughs> that beauty don't have to be painful you can be beautiful in your natural element no matter what you are a witch okay <laughs> but we got a natural witch here so either y'all conjuring up some shit okay <laughs> to break free we got the devil and the eight of swords coming through so there is like a very strong soul tie to something that y'all got to release and stuff as well you're going to realize how to do this and stuff we got here the eight of cups and stuff <laughs> We have here, the, um, yeah, forgiveness, okay? And the Nine of Pentacles, okay? Patience to succeed. And we got the Nine of Swords, okay? Illusions and nightmares that you're releasing. And then we got the Page of Cups. So I feel like, yeah, um, whatever torment somebody been doing, you're not, it's not working on you guys no more, which is really good, I think, and stuff. We have galactic healers and stuff. Stay persistent. All right, so somebody persistently working on y'all. I was going to ask who this person is evil eye <laughs> that past friend <laughs> loyal somebody that you think is loyal reckless behavior yeah i feel like somebody is like trying to get you guys to have sex with them um but you know they toxic soul tie mm -hmm. so you guys are breaking free from a toxic soul tie and y'all gonna have help galactic guidance okay star family assistance and cooperation so calling in your spirit team calling in your angels and stuff like that as well 18 break free all right so yeah from whatever that's causing y'all to have instability vitality stability survival and fearfulness okay it's like somebody trying to fear you um make y'all fear like success uh, make y'all fear money, okay? Marriage, happiness, destiny. Yeah, y'all life purpose is either coming up or you understanding your life purpose as well. All right, or who you're supposed to be with, okay? Your um, your spouse or your your partner is coming. <laughs> so shit is fucked up in the universe. Divine purpose, passion, and service, okay? So you're about to discover that right now. It could take you guys to tourist season. Uh, you might already be good at something, but you haven't really put it into practice. They're going to show you guys how to do this and stuff, okay? Manifest with the earth, okay? Or nature or natural abilities that you already have with inside yourself. This could just be a natural eye to see the secret inside of everything as well. <laughs> On social media. What did I'm hearing? The diamond in the sky or the all-seeing eye? as well this is horse energy so yeah um they like one the left eye represents the sun the left eye represents the moon okay being completely in balance and stuff as well talk to you guys soon please drop a like share and comment bye bye